right, guys, we got the iPhone 14 here. Let's open this. Oh wait, there it is right here. Oh. Let me clear my notifications because see some sexual content. <laughs> this is gonna turn into OnlyFans real quick. Uh, real quick. Alexa pause! What's up guys? This is Will Smith here. We got any light on the track as well. And today we're gonna talk about the iPhone 14, right? So literally you guys know that Apple just released a new product. Um, you know, great launch. Once again, just Overall, great product. They got a couple good things in this this device. So I'm, I'm curious to check it out, go a little bit deeper into what it, what it is, talk about the features. And uh, we have an Android user here that's actually Ooh. interested in uh, transitioning from it. So looking forward to this video. If you like it, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it. Um, so Aaron, tell me about your uh, situation with the iPhone. Uh, what's your viewpoint on things? You know, where are you looking? Uh, what attracts you more about this one versus your current phone? What's up? Uh, what attracted me most about iPhone now is that new uh, dynamic island feature they got, you know, right now. I really want to see what's all that about. Um, I've been using Android at first. I've been very pro Android all this time. For sure. um, but been kind of disappointed lately with like the new features that it's been coming up with Android. So I want to see like, you know, possibly with the transition to the iPhone, see what that's all about. For sure. So let's check into this thing. So, so as you know, we have this on the clear coat case. Um, you can get this at your Apple store as well as the screen protector. Now I did go to the Apple store um, and they did install this and it's a really cool way that they did it too. So once again, you, you're buying not only the product, but also the service. Um, you know, Apple, when you get the screen case, they put it in this little device and it's just like so seamless, right? Like you put it on and it's, it's like a, like a mold almost where you, you put your phone in there and it just automatically concourses to the protector. So it doesn't have those little bubbles. So as you see, if I were to have done it, it would have been bubbles everywhere. Yeah, that's perfect. That's so, actually pretty nice. Yeah. Definitely want to talk about that. The cool thing about this new uh, iPhone is it allows you to show your, um, you can customize your widget. You can customize your lock screen. You can also showcase some of the um, features. Like if you're listening to music and stuff, it comes up a little bit nicer. But what I actually like is the fact that it has an always on display where you can actually see a dimmed um, home screen or not home screen, your lock screen. So basically how it works is the phone is down right now. I'm not touching it at all. I'm not checking the time or open it, like facing it up to see it, um, but it's on. So yeah. you can actually see it. It's in a very low powered state. I think it was saying something about one frame per second that it refreshes, but it's really cool um, because this is the first time that, that they've actually implemented this in the iPhone. Now I'm sure that uh, Android has done something like this before, but um, it's good to see it in, um, practical in the uh, iPhone. And one thing I'm noticing about iPhone is um, just like Will said, um, they they came out with the widgets and you know the different always on display that Android usually usually does. Um, however, iPhone I notice takes their time. You know they take their time when they come out with new you know designs, new features. And usually when they finally come out with the new uh, products and features, it's really like spot on. It's crisp. Um, so I really appreciate it that basically on how it looks, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty dynamic. Yep. Yep. So looking at the lock screen from where we're looking at, um, you can also customize it how as you would the home screen. Now, right now I have just a clock. I have, you know, a daily reminders and, you know, events that's going on today. And of course the temperature, but if I wanted to, you can set uh, profiles of your lock screen. So in this one, it's showcasing the world where, in which, you know, wherever you live, it shows, shows, you know, your the time as well as the um, time of day. It's really cool. So, and that, that's the case for that one. And then of course, you know, I have my, the one with the book. So that's that one. And if you wanted to customize things, I'm sorry, if you wanted to customize things uh, a little further, you can go in here and 
and press customize. You know, you can choose to put stock tickers. If you're into crypto, you can also put crypto, Robinhood, XYZ, and you can tailor the uh, background to look as how as you want. So it's completely up to the user, no preference in there in that area. So, um, but also it's uh, something new that they implemented in iOS 16. So do you notice any new differences as opposed to your old iPhone, like just right off the bat? Uh, first big difference I definitely want to notice is um, a little heavier, which is, I don't know, I can't look at me on here. But uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's definitely, uh, you know, as far as size-wise, if you have the 12 Pro Max, it's kind of the similar, the same size. But um, it's a little more, I would say, dense. Mm. Like this phone definitely feels solid, for sure. Um, as far as aesthetics wise, you know, the the newer features is this does not have a SIM. This has an eSIM. Mm -hmm. So, you know, previous users, they could just pop in a SIM, SIM and go and come as they please. But in this one, and I also experienced a lot of issues because of it, it has an eSIM where you have to directly contact your provider and have them switch it over. Um, it's a little bit of a headache, but... You know, I definitely understand why, I guess, you know, it's trying to be more ergonomical, economical, um, sustainable, but overall, you know, it has ease him. So music playing on the island and you can interact with it as you will. Um, it's a really cool feature, right? Like definitely yeah, that's new. pretty cool guys than what I'm seeing here. So you normally like especially on an Android phone, you got like a peel and you just got one little circle, but it's non functional. Yeah. But, iPhone here, they found a way to make it functional, so it's not like just this ugly, you know, black space, you know, in the middle of your screen. Yep. So this is actually pretty cool to see, you know, when he's like, you know, maneuvering through it and everything. Yep. And also, as time goes, right? Like at first, it used to just be this upper portion that was mostly uh, just black, but they found, like he said, he found a way to uh, make it look seamless, right? Um, and also, you can, you know, choose. Just like you do AirPlay or whatever, and you go down on your widgets, you can interact with the island as you choose to. Um, so it gives you a little bit more customization as well when you're going through apps or if you're going through you know, your phone or whatever. Um, it allows you to interact with your content that you're interacting with um, simultaneously a little bit better. Now, nothing too new when it comes to the widgets. You know, you have the widgets, you know, nothing too spectacular. I will say iOS 16 is a little bit more smoother. Uh, it has a little bit better transition, a little bit more features when it comes to the home screen and how smooth like uh, the icons look as well as, you know, Siri and its integration within messages. You know, if you want to do dictation, you can do a little bit better. So I do like that as well. Um, but overall, you know, from a iOS 15, iOS 16 perspective, there's not too much that has changed from uh, face value. You can still download apps, you can still, you know, watch cat videos, but I guess the cool thing is you can interact with that content a little bit differently with the island as well. So. Now, convincing the guy to go to iPhone. So Aaron, my question to you, right? right. We all know this is like a very sexy device, but let me ask you this. What is something that you are interested in that you don't have in your current phone? Um, so number one, I would say is that dynamic island. Like I really like that feature. It just, it just more, it's just more personable. Um, it's more friendly. It's more user friendly. Um, Android definitely doesn't let, uh, do that, but I will say I bet you Android will copy, you know, this, you'll see a lot of copying um, from uh, different phone carriers in the future um, because that 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 is a game changer like that is pretty cool. Um, and the other thing I know I noticed right off the bat when you talked about density of the phone like the very like it's very solid. My one gripe about Android phones like the new Galaxy phones is is the fact that they still use like cheap kind of like plasticky. Uh, materials and I still like the metally, you know, metallic, you know, solid, um, you know, materials that iPhone uses. It just feels more premium, you know, in the hands yeah. um, versus that plastic smooth like with the Android. I just never liked that. I, I wish they would go back to that, back, back, basically back to the original note that they made. It was a very like solid phone. 
Um, but they kind of went away with that. And that's what's kind of, I'm electing me to move towards the, um, the iPhone. And uh, talk about like the, the, the color you chose. You know, like what, yeah. what kind of color did you pick? So I chose deep purple. You have option that they go black, silver, um, I believe gold, not gold, too sure. Gold color. Gold Many price. options, right? But this is the Pro Max, so it's I think it's limited in some of the options. Like the regular iPhone 14, you can um, get multiple colors and stuff. But uh, for this one, uh, I wanted the deep purple because I like big phones. You know, I like you know big hands, big guy. I like to have a nice sizable phone. Um, you know. The thing that attracted me that the iPhone has, when this one is just a little bit more size one, it's solid. You know, it's 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 a phone and it's a really good entertainment device. If I need to watch videos and I'm yeah. on a train or if I'm like on, on a plane or whatever, um, but this is a really good uh, sizable phone. The colors are great. The uh, the OLED display display screen is is beautiful. You know, there's no really too much uh, lacking in quality as far as that. And I'm also hearing that the new uh, iPhone um, is actually brighter now than the um, S22 Ultra, um, that the brightness level is truly bright um, and very vivid. Um, that's another aspect or attribute that's getting me interested in the iPhone. Like that just looks beautiful. That OLED display, mm -hmm. you got that true black yep. um, in the background um, to bring out those colors. Yep, and if you're in the sun, like you can actually see your phone because you know sometimes when you're in the sun, it's like you know, can't see your phone. But yeah, overall beautiful, aesthetic-wise, solid. Um, you know, the naysayer is gonna be what's different, what's this, what's that. But you know, it's it's the one thing I do appreciate about technology, right? And I'm in the tech field. Um, it's nothing really that's gonna be groundbreaking in these uh, yearly um, updates. It's mostly gonna be. Uh, products and upgrades to some of the features that we use. Now we may have something that comes uh, uniquely within a year that's like, okay, let's start transitioning from that. Um, but overall, it's just an integrated process. It's a crawl, you know, uh, they're just gonna keep getting better and better. The phones just keep getting smaller, smaller, thinner, thinner, and smarter and smarter. Um, especially with artificial intelligence and newer technologies being integrated with it, and, you know, smart lists. Um, home integrations, um, seamless integration with your uh, appliances, all that stuff that I talk about, especially in the book that you need to check out. Um, it's gonna be uh, something that you see within these phones each and each each year, so. So yeah, man, yeah. what you think? Sounds good, man. I, I'm, I'm clearly uh, considering, you know, the Switch. Um, if you guys, you know, think that I should, you know, let me down, let me know down in the comments if I should switch from Android to iPhone. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice phone. It's definitely nice, you know, especially coming from an Android user slash <laughs> Android user slash sidekick slash <laughs> Nokia <laughs> slash Blackberry. Yep. Slash yeah, you know it's yeah it's a it's a good phone seriously phone. like I love it I've only had it um, maybe a couple days the product launch was on Friday so a couple days that I had it um, and I can I can say it's it's beautiful I love it and another good thing that I just noticed is that you got this new iPhone and all the apps pretty much work is that correct like work go right down to download Spotify you know Pandora you know Facebook everything has updated you know with the new iPhone everything is you know work smoothly so yeah that's that's pretty good to know too as well yeah it's a it's a great phone everything works I will say I did have a little issue backing up some of my older um, apps and files mm -hmm. you know some of the the, the, from iOS 15 to 16, the only problem I had was transitioning from this, from my old phone to this phone, and it was more on my okay. side, you know, nothing too much that uh, the phone could do, but it was more from, you know, the the horrible, the horrible hotel Wi-Fi that I had, plus the fact that I had almost 200 gigabytes of files that I need to transfer over. So it's just like, yeah, it was it was a little bit tricky. So, but overall not that hard to transition from your old phone to this phone um, just make sure that you you know back up your stuff and if you don't have enough memory or files you know either get an upgrade for the apple um, cloud or you can yeah. use like dropbox or anything so yeah good 
All right, man. I think that was all for the video. If you guys like this video and you want to check it out, check us out. Um, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Link in the description. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell your church. Tell your everybody. Tell right? everyone. Okay. We, we make fun videos like this. You know, we're two humble guys. So, yeah, just hit us up and look forward to the next video. See ya. See ya.